Most gamepad ads promise 1 millisecond latency, but tests have shown that none of them reach 1 millisecond even via cable. That's because many manufacturers only measured the polling grade, not the real input latency. To stop the streaks, I made an affordable tester called GPDL. Enthusiasts and importantly manufacturers started using it, thanks to this truly fast gamepads appeared. And GullyKit's new models are a great example. GullyKit ES, ES Pro and ELS2 are gamepads that set a new speed standard, all thanks to the new Hyperlink 2 wireless technology. With it, a regular Bluetooth receiver beats traditional dongles. To prove this with numbers, not words, I use my new tester Prometheus 82. Prometheus 82 is the evolution of GPDL. It measures latency not only for buttons, but also for sticks. Here's how it works. A solenoid quickly presses a button or a stick. A sensor detects the moment of contact. The software measures the time until the signal from the gamepad. This is the real input latency. Each test includes hundreds of tries with millisecond accuracy. After testing dozens of gamepads, I made a comparison chart for button latency. The gamepads are sorted from fastest to slowest, based on their best wireless connection. The GullyKit ES Pro is at the top, with just 3 and 5 milliseconds on Bluetooth connection. Incredibly fast! But will it stay on top in the stick test? Before, we could only guess that sticks were slower than buttons. With Prometheus 82, we now know for sure. I tested the same gamepads, and for many, stick latency increased a lot. But GullyKit is still ahead. The ES Pro showed only 3 and 7 milliseconds stick latency. It is a clear leader, even compared to wired gamepads. But wireless technology is not the only strength of GullyKit new models. In wire mode, GullyKit also beats most competitors in both button and stick latency. Yes, even in wired mode, GullyKit gamepad remain among the fastest. Not only in this ranking, but in the world. Don't believe words, check the numbers. Build your own Prometheus 82 tester. The code and instructions are on GitHub. You can find more of these tests on GamePadla.com. Trust the data, not the marketing. This was John Punch, see you next time.